All right, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, what's up and what's happening, Captain? As you guys can see, it's your host from both Paul Cantu, live outside of Goodwill. This is day four of Beast Week, where basically I'm thrifting every single weekday of this week and dropping a video. Now, to start off today's video, we're actually gonna rewind and go to an estate sale I hit literally an hour ago. Bro, I drove 45 minutes to get there on time to find some Michael Jordan figurines and uh, yeah. That didn't happen, but I still found a lot, so go ahead and check out this footage right now. It was a very cool house filled with shit. Guys, this house is huge. Like, absolutely stuffed with things. I have a fat pile already. Um, I'll reveal that at the end, but just take a walk with me. Man, it's fancy as hell. A lot of luggage, a lot of dishes. That chandelier is gorgeous. Bro, look at these statues though. That fool got that crazy little hairdo, headdress going on. Presidential tent, Michelle Obama. Presidential tent, tent. Michelle Obama. Obama. Frozen femurs in the freezer. Uh. Jeffrey Dahmer. Oh man, I was hoping there'd be drugs in here. Instead, it's just CDs. Trippy. Dude, these buttons are so crazy. Guys, check this out too. Mac and cheese flavor. You have the Barack Obama 44th president hat. That's an Instagram. All right, here's the real collection of buttons, man. Absolutely crazy. Dude, there's a little bit of everything in terms of these buttons. Oh, flamingo cookie jar? Should I get it to match the tat? Possibly. Oh man, to go with the shoes I got earlier in the week, I'll be a fool not to get the Sir Charles Barkley plate. This thing goes crazy. Dang, that's fire. They got the KJ plate too. Hold up. And the Sean Kemp. Dude, the Sean Kemp is only a dollar. Freaking grail, bro. Dude, this is noteworthy for sure. I found this cool little Barbie Darby. Barbie Darby. <laughs> Dodgers Barbie. I'm dyslexic, but I'm gonna pass. Dude, these chairs are insane. It's like $500 for the set. Baby, that's art. And you got the Hendrix. Dude, this house is, is just absolutely mind boggling, bro. Wow. Hey, you guys know I gotta do it for my city one time. Sports Illustrated, man. Got the red hot hail to the champs. Hakeem MVP, the dream Olajuwon, twice is nice. This is what I'm talking about, bro. And I got some more Houston stuff, but it's like residing in my sold pile. And I'm telling y'all, there's a lot in the sold pile. I had to come in and just grab stuff that I wanted, and then I'm gonna sit through the rest and show you guys that in a minute. Sorry about the mask, but COVID. See, these are what I was talking about, man. We got all three of them, baby. Dude, there's just an assortment of records as well. Like, so many records. Like, and this is only a fraction of them just in this room. Dude, the office is really sweet as well. A tons of, like, Wheaties boxes, Kellogg's Frosted Flakes boxes, Honey Smacks. Dude, the cereal box section is just on point. This is a really cool Oakland Raiders vintage license plate as well. Nice. Nice! Just a whole lot to look at every corner of this residence, man. Dude, this is clutch too. Got that Panasonic VHS home movie camera. Daddy. See, this hallway is especially cool. You have all these posters. I grabbed the Boys in the Hood poster um, and another one. Dude, there's just so much stuff everywhere. This is a cool wall though. And the wall's like magnetic. So none, none of the posters got damaged in the hanging process. That's creepy. Dude, this third story is absolutely absurd. It's like a whole museum in here. I grabbed a couple of uh, lunch boxes, but I mean, I don't even know what to record, honestly, guys. Like, there's just <laughs> stuff, all stuff, all stuff. Oh, hold up, I see that starting lineup, though. All right, you have that uh, Jackie Joyner starting lineup. She won three gold, one silver, and two bronze medals spanning four Olympic games during her illustrious career. I found this Bill Clinton really weird, like, I don't even know what he is, like stuffed plush action figure? Weird hybrid, 1995 C-Bill run. 
case you guys don't remember, that boy Bill Clinton hit them sprints. You guys up for a real run? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Race to the pizza hut! Oh, you got that dead stock, little Bill. <laughs> I guess this was pre-pill in the cup phase. Hey, um, let's ch <laughs> check these guys out. You have all these Sesame Streets, like, barrettes and hair ties? Bro. Let's go. These are absolutely sick. Dude, this room makes me feel like I'm inside a strawberry starburst. Oh my gosh, there's so much pink everywhere. Just Barbie stuff on Barbie stuff. Dude, there's even the Barbie fabric on the chair. Hey, but that old school Pringles can. Clutch. All right, guys. So here is everything that I did purchase from the estate sale. I just want to show y'all all the pieces in depth before we get back to this trip to the thrifts. This little bill is easily like $50, bro. Got it for six. All the magazines. And here are the posters. Boys in the Hood and the Meteor Man. Come on, dude. I had to get the Tiger Woods Wheaties box. Got a black G.I. Joe. Got the Barbie lunch kit with the thermos. It's brand new. Couple more Sports Illustrated. Obviously the buttons. This is a super sick lunch kit. It is from 1986. It's the real Ghostbusters with the thermos. You have Obama as a duck, LeVar Burton, Star Trek, and then the Fisher Price mom and baby along with the signs and of course the license plate. Oh yeah, and then way up top, I got this Obama tea as well, which is a classic. But yeah, let's get back to the thrifting. Bro, look how clutch this is. They just rolled out a bunch of ties. They have all these Looney Tune varieties, um, varieties, excuse me. They got Tabasco and fries. They got the whole gang in these stars, Christmas renditions. It's just like a lot of Looney Tunes, Tabasco and then Christmas Looney Tune Ultimate Collab Ties. All right, there are two quick little finds that I got, kind of in the same matching color scheme, which is low key clean, dude. It reminds me of like the Pacific Northwest. You got the water, the forest green, the snow, um, 90s vertically striped little polo, and this crazy knit <laughs> Eddie Bauer sweater just jumping off the hanger. Tripping. Tripping. But it's still dripping. Dripping, dripping. Guys, I don't know how this keeps happening, but I'm in like the houseware section and just chilling on this like, I don't know, broken shelf are some Jordan Bread 11s. What the heck, bro? These are, hold on, let's check out the jump, man. All right, he actually, he looks pretty decent. Pretty Gucci. Um, carbon fiber, good as well. 13 bucks, not too shabby for daddy. There is some sole separation on the toe cap. Uh, let's check this other one. A little bit of scuffing on that little back ankle holster. And then, oh my God, no, not with the scotch tape, bro. Not like this, not like this. Okay, hold up. Oh, severe soul separation. Oh my, oh my God, that's like a damn San Andreas fault line on this bitch. Bro, hold up. Um, I'm trying to see what size these are. I don't see a size tag, which is suspicious, Whoa. but they might have just cut it out because it got uncomfortable. But let's throw it next to my foot and just see. It looks like a size nine or 10. <laughs> I like how I'm just making that up off the dome, but yeah. Got some bread 11s in the thrift. What on this good God's earth? 13 bucks for the frame, bro. Just a little bit of glue and we Gucci. All right, guys, the cart is completely loaded up. And the more I look at these Jordans, the more I'm just suspicious of their authenticity. Like the Joe Man's legs just look so long. Oh my God. The back is, I don't know. Like, I don't know if that's necessarily pointy enough either. And then the lack of info on the inside and just the overall condition is making me really second guess this acquisition. So I think I am just gonna let these guys um, reside here. If someone else wants to get them and restore them, that's fine. But the patent leather is just gone on these dudes. So I think I'm just gonna leave it for the next passerby. Oh man, guys. Wow, we out of there. Two bags full of stuff. Dude, I fucked up. My camera battery's about to die and I gotta go to another store to try and have this video be lit. So we're gonna see what happens, but shout out to Goodwill once again. All right, class, we're in the next spot, which is the Family Thrift Outlet on North Durham Drive. I got low battery, so I'm gonna fly through. Is that Gucci now? Is Bouchy. What, <laughs> what on earth is that? Oh, hey, hey, hey. You also got the Fat Albert button up. And then look at this. 
made in Australia. That classic pure new wool, that Molga. Ooh, that is one ugly ass name. Hey, but that's a beautiful piece. Oh, they got that classic Treyway. Treyway shit, man. Stupid. Stupid. <laughs> Looks like it came straight out of a printer, 6.9T. Hey, also, wow. Speaking of 6.9, this is a rainbow. That Nautica with the little boat, sailboat on the inside? Or on the titty? Nice. nice. Bro, praise God. Praise God I got enough battery for this. Oh my God, bro. I saw the back of it and I said, please be old school. And it is, oh my dear God. Guys, look at this, Mosquito Head 1991. You have the Malcolm X Mosquito Head T, size extra large on the Hanes Heavyweight, made in USA, single stitch in this bitch. You guys know what time it is. Kris Kringle, Christmas colorway. This is tantalizing. Oh, this one's for you, Spike. Damn, what? an absolute gem bro fuck with me hey price check just peep this unbelievable I don't feel like I'm so about money unreal absolutely unreal hey i'll tell y'all one thing with that malcolm x t i'll be like this eagle fly as fuck straight up birds of prey vintage mountain tea dude i'm so happy all right guys i've had to compile some finds real quick polo sport ralph Lauren. trying to squeeze everything into this video that i can with my battery running low this vintage nike crew neck looks like it has ringworm what is that i don't want to touch it white tag made in usa texas a m aggies all right that's clean embroidery the northern explorer look at this you got old yeller on there or air bud dunking on them you got some geese man and you got a little deer showing naked ass what's up bro straight up dude on this t-shirt is the first shoe i ever purchased it was 60 dollars at foot action shout out lebron and then this is a personal heater for your boy super old school on the jerseys made in usa tag it's the university of texas so so soft vintage tea i love this bevo graphic right here throwing up the longhorn while trucking people perfect, perfect. dang check these out bro we them boys emmett emmett smith emmett emmett smith here you go emmett smith oh i just touched down on the pussy nigga Touchdown. you have the apex one emmett smith alternate colorway dallas cowboys jersey and look at this jacket deodora absolutely done right bro they cut no corners in the 90s you got the jewelry the embroidery and then the ribboning down the sleeves the color blocking is amazing it's a swagasm bro oh 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 you know what i'm talking about can't help myself and then check this shirt out i actually own this same t-shirt except the vintage rendition very cool dead or resist drugs old school graphic harris county sheriff's department they got that whip. Oh, we got another one. Emmett Smith. Look at that like south side fade. Low key flat top. Boy putting in that work. Smith up the middle. Bounces at the 10. To the 5. Cut to the right. Cut to the left. Oh, no. Emmett Smith. Also, shut up my college, man. Dick you. <laughs> you feel me? Okay, I have to get this. Oh, my God. Yo, we got a little tropical transgression. My boy looking like he's straight out of Jumanji. You have the vintage Panama Jack with the parrot. Very clean and made in USA. Oh my God. Oh my God. Classic 90s colorway. That Tommy for who? Your mommy. Size extra large. You guys know what time it is. Beautiful vertical stripes. I love it. Oh, checks over stripes. Bro, you have that center small check UNC hoodie. Nice. Oh, we got that scholastic swag. I didn't go here, but nice university. That Dookie University. <laughs> Man, this graphic is crazy. It's like, where is Waldo? Except there's no Waldo. And all right, class. So, so we're back at home right now. Sorry my camera died while I was live in the thrift. But look at the grail on body. Holy crap, dude. This shirt fits me like a glove. So I've seen these sell for 400, 800, and I've seen them be listed for $1,500, which is the only one that's on eBay right now. Oh, this shirt just fits me so good. I don't think I can let it go. Uh, maybe I'd entertain an offer if it was at minimum 800 bucks because dude, I love these shirts and this truly is a once in a lifetime thrift find. It was only $2. But yeah, as for everything else in today's video, 
As you guys know, if you want anything, visit my website, thrifttypeinvintage.com. It's linked in the video description, and this drop will be occurring this weekend and early into next week. Follow the Thrift Heaven Instagram to stay up to date and follow my Instagram as well. But yeah, dude, today it was extraordinary. This is hands down one of, if not the best find that I've ever gotten, and I'm so happy about it. You dig. See you guys, have fun, and stay tuned. Another video dropping tomorrow. Peace. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life by rooster. And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to. You should get used to. You should get used to.